There was never a phone call where she said, I think I have ALS. Because it started with a remote possibility and it developed so slowly. All along, I knew the same thing she knew. She chose journalism as a career primarily because it was portable. She could practice it overseas, she could practice it at home. Um, so she, that's why she decided to go to graduate school at the University of Florida and, and get a, a master's degree in journalism. Susan had volunteered to be an ambas ambassador of sorts for the international students who were arriving to study journalism at the University of Florida. And um, one of them was George Sicilides, who had arrived from Cyprus, um, and she helped orient him to, to the campus and to town. And during orientation week, if I recall well, uh, we started having uh, trouble in, uh, on campus. We had uh, this guy, a serial killer. Really, Gainesville's darkest hour brought us together me, Susan, and George in, you know, an effort to get out of town, we, we came together to Palm Beach and we formed this friendship that 20 years later proved key to Susan discovering her biological roots in Cyprus. She had this had learned of her her biological father's existence and that he was a Cypriot and it just so happened that George was a good friend from from graduate school and yeah what are the chances who would have told me that uh, after 20 years I would get a phone call from a very good friend of mine uh, that I met in Gainesville but to me what's uh, important uh, is that uh, if you can um, be able to help somebody, uh, you should do it. I'm more amazed than surprised by the discipline that it took for her to sit and tap out that book, literally letter by letter, with her right thumb. She's actually said to me, I'm so happy at the way things turned out. Imagine if I were stuck here without a book to write. Mm -hmm.